What's going on guys, it's Shay and I'm back here again with another video. Today we are going to be returning to Midwest Bus Company to check out the latest update. I'm going to go ahead and read some of the stuff that was dropped in this update. Um, if I can pull it up here. Okay, so we had a lot drop, okay. If you guys didn't know, this update was like long awaited. It was, you know, uh, we fixed so much stuff. So, here we go. Um, the new UI, we have a new UI. Um, it looks a lot cleaner. It fits better on 720p screens, um, as well as other re resolutions. Um, it's a much more organized bus model number list on the UI. Built-in despawn button on the spawner UI. Uh, new viewpoints to show the 3D model of your bus. Uh, draggable UIs. Lots of security fixes and additions preventing bus spamming and exploits. Um, Cut the asset count in half due to the new spawning system, which means the game is way less laggy for low-end computers. Now that's a big one. Um, Upstate is now fully Xbox compatible, which is another big one. I know there's a lot of you Xbox players out there. Uh, a Game Pass bus can now be spawned more than once. Now that's also pretty big. Um, so for those of you who didn't like the fact that Game Pass buses could only be spawned in by one player, um, it says here, upon spawning, a Game Pass bus will be assigned a random number 600 through 620. Instead of one bus each type being able to be spawned in at once, it is now 20 Game Pass buses at once overall. That's a, that's very big. That's actually amazing. Now, I also heard the EFX might become free, um, though I'm not for sure. Uh, so we'll see about that. Um, Assigned buses will now only be a visible will now only be visible in a garage for their viewer. Um, the bug where some buses will would explode or fly away uh, when spawning is no longer possible. Um, staff can now more easily despawn and refuel buses. Uh, spawning a bus is now more fluid and less laggy for the player. Now here's just some additional things. Uh, we started working on a hospital that's getting worked on. It's in construction. Um, minor changes to the lot, allowing the Game Pass buses to work properly. Minor changes to the lighting, added some trees in some locations. Um, mini bug fixes, deleted some useless parts to the not impact player experience. Uh, fixed some server side script errors, which would spam an error message for us. Fixed the, del fixed the NPC system not working properly. Uh, disabled the fuel on the T3RC. Small changes on the MS loop. Um, <clears throat> the lake and the mountain near base have received small tweaks, uh, added street lights at every railroad crossing, changed changes to the football stadium parking lot, minor changes to the railroad tracks, added three new field trip locations, and a new elementary school. Now that's pretty much it. Okay, now I'm going to go right off the bat and say, I added the new elementary school and I added the three new field trip locations, which I will be showing you guys today. Um, so if you don't know how this new UI works, um, you'll click here to spawn your bus, and you've got all the buses, all the free buses right here. Uh, so basically what you would do is you'd press free, and you would choose any number and it'd spawn it in. Um, now this UI is a lot, a lot easier than the old one. Uh, so, uh, but if you have an assigned bus, all you have to do is click this garage, click view, click your number, and then press spawn. Now I know some of the buses aren't spawning in properly. That's just uh, I think that's just the game issue because uh, once my bus didn't spawn in, I, I spawned it in again and then it worked. So, and then here's the Game Pass buses as well. Uh, you just press spawn. Um, so there's that. Um, so we're not going to be doing a route. Uh, we're just going to be checking out some of the new stuff. Also, a few things weren't mentioned in the dev blog, such as the all premium buses now have radios. Uh, all you have to do is kind of walk up right here and hold E, and there's the radio. So it's toggable, so which is very cool. And you can hear in the background. And uh, so first things first, we're gonna check out um, this elementary school that I built. Uh, it took me roughly about two days to build. Um, Honestly, uh, fun fact, the old elementary school was a copy and paste of the middle school. It was kind of like half of it. So, you know, I was like, 
Why, why are we doing that when we could just build a new elementary school? Uh, so here's the sign that I built. Really, really cool. Home of the Rams, which I actually think they are Home of the Rams. Uh, I looked it up on like, Google, like the actual Carmel Elementary School, and I think that the Rams, so I think they did that. So here is the new school. It's got like a C for Carmel and then like a Ram inside of it, which is pretty cool. Um, I worked pretty hard on this. Uh, not too hard, but, um, you know, yeah. It's got like you know, in the back and everything. So it's basically three separate buildings, you know. I thought it looked cool. So let me know what you guys think about the new elementary school. Um, let's see, should we go left or right? I guess we'll go left. There is, so we edited the, um, the, the mountain was edited. Uh, oh, I don't want to run the red. Uh, not too many changes to it, though. We'll go ahead and hit it over I know a lot of you guys missed the radio, as did I. Um, now, I thought I fixed this road, but there's still a little bump in it right here. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix that again. See. So, I added three new field trip locations due to popular request. Um, I think all three of them that I added were pretty pretty decent. Now, I also got rid of every single dead tree or tree with snow on them. And I literally replaced all the trees right here. You can literally see. I did all of that, basically. Uh, obviously, people helped, but um, I laid them down or whatever. And then people just started laying more down, so... Uh, there is a building built by Little High's Crappy Karate. Um, I'm not going to tell you any secrets about it because there's definitely no secret about it. Don't even look for it. Okay, cool. Now we're going to make a left here. Now, a lot of you guys don't actually know where some stuff is located. Uh, so that's basically what I'm going to be showing you today. Um, you don't know where the field trip locations are located. So, first things first, we're going to head towards the arcade here. Um, now, they said improvements were made to the MS loop, which was done by myself. I made it easier to where you can turn in over here. Um, so hopefully buses won't kind of drive in the grass when they're turning into the loop. And I made it a little bit wider as well, so. Yeah. Small changes, very small changes. So the arcade is just down here. Uh, I guess you could say it's kind of by the yeah, it's by the football stadium really. Um, so, uh, and it was based off a Stranger Things arcade, the one and only. Um, you can kind of see it right there. Now that took actually only about a few hours to build, maybe like three or four hours. Um, wasn't that hard? I thought it was a pretty cool build though. Not gonna lie. I thought it was pretty cool. I don't know, I just started building an arcade and then I was like, wait a minute, doesn't Stranger Things have an arcade? So I was like, you know what, we're going to copy that. I tried to copy it to the best of my abilities. Um, although I did, I did go off of a Lego version, because uh, it was easier to see. I didn't actually pull up like screenshots from the show. So, I went off of like a Lego version. So. Three, can you return to the school? Yeah, I really like this radio edition. Uh, however, Jimbo said it won't be in for long because he's got something special for the buses. I don't know if that's, you know, I, there used to be a Game Pass radio. I don't know if that's going to be a thing again um, or something like that. Uh, but, you know, I don't know what I'm saying, but if I did, I'd say keep this radio in because a lot of people like it. Uh, toggable, you know, you can toggle it on and off. And this light's taking years. If we don't get to go in like five seconds, I'm going. We should be able to go next. Right? Okay. So we're going to go right right here. And then we'll pull into this arcade. Uh, not too many changes down there to the left. Uh, you can see all the trees that were added though. Which is pretty cool. 
Uh, we added so many trees to this update. It's ridiculous. But like I said, I got rid of all of the, you know, the dead trees and stuff, so we had to uh, change the trees and stuff. So here's a look at the Stranger Things arcade. And if you don't think it's on point, you should probably pull up a picture of the Stranger Things arcade and uh, kind of um, compare the two because I think it looks spot on almost. Look at that. I think I might get the screenshot here. Let's see. And then for the sign, I just went with something like that, which is basically the same kind of look um, in the Stranger Things. Uh, we'll go left here. Uh, changes that were made to this were just the parking lot. So there's like an ex you know another way to pull in right here, which is pretty cool. Uh, and for field trip uh, purposes, they made like uh, parking spots right there for buses. Um, I also changed the gas prices. If you notice, it's 501 for regular, which is kind of funny because now they start dropping. Wait a minute, I I don't remember there being a flashing yellow here. I did not know there was a flashing yellow here. I did not know that. Okay, more trees over here. Uh, the hospital is over there to the left, as you can see. Some of the construction that is happening. So basically, what kind of happened? Well, I won't even go into detail on that, but just know the hospital is in construction. It's not going to be the best looking hospital, but, you know, it is what it is. Alright, sorry about that. I had a phone call. I had to pause the video for a second. You guys didn't see that. Okay, good. So the hospital is almost done. The construction site looks really cool. Got the emergency like I said, in construction. Pretty, pretty nice parking right there. Um, now we will head to the um, bowling alley that I built. Um, now, I have to go in studio and kind of fix some things because I think somebody kind of messed with it. Uh, I had it perfect, however, I just forgot to anchor the curb. However, somebody went in and like did something. Oh, I totally ran my stop button. My bad. And I totally hit that fence. Okay. All right. Um, I also extended the gar golf. Sorry, what? The go kart parking lot. Um, due to like field trips and stuff, I just ran that stop sign as well. These have no brakes at all. Here's the bowling alley. Oh wait, so it's not messed up anymore. However, that is a different shade of color. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. You can see how that's like a light gray. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. Here's the bowling alley. Uh, pay attention to the sign because that took the most detail to build. Look at that. Arson Lane has got a bowling pin up there. Now, I thought that was very, very creative um, to build like a sign like that. So, you know, you got bus parking here, you've got some garage here in the back. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's a lot. There's a whole bunch. Um, basically, I got this reference off of Google as do I go on my goals. Very, very cool. At least I thought. I think a screenshot right here. I'll take that. Cool. Alright, now, the last field trip location, which is over here. You'll make a left at the high school, which I also did some stuff too. Um, I put like some speed limit signs along with uh, what else did I do? Was it, yeah, I put like school signs on the ground to indicate that you're in a school zone. Once again, gas prices are raised. You can kind of see it right there: five hundred one, five twenty-six, five ten. No mini map changes. Alright, keep going. 
going good. Yeah, so the, the other field trip location is basically all the way over here at the end. Um, which is pretty cool. Should I put a school zone sign right here? Well, not a sign, but like a, the wording on the ground right there. And I did it over there as well. And the last one, field trip location, is right down here. Uh, it is a Putnam Airsoft. Uh, so I did build this. Uh, I was pretty... I don't know how I thought to build this. I just was thinking field trip attractions. Uh, and I don't know why people... This is probably not a realistic field trip attraction unless you want to get shot. So, um, so basically what this is intended to be is kind of like a building with like garage doors, which is really cool. Um, okay, two to go back and for Go ahead. Uh, well, that's not even beeping, so. Tell him, uh. Um, so here it is. You go inside. Uh, you've got mission tickets, indoor park, and then the ammo and stuff, all that good stuff. I put employees only, but literally anyone can walk in here. I forgot to, uh, fix that. But, uh, here's the indoor park. You know, if you've ever... Oh, that's a little too big, ain't it? If you've ever been to a indoor park, you'd know what this kind of resembles. But, uh, yeah. You know, you got, um, like that. And then it's got, like, um, sunlight kind of lighting or whatever. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the field trip locations. Um, and that's actually pretty much it for the update, honestly. Um, not, not too much was added, um... Well, I say that, but everything was added, like a lot of stuff, but, uh, yeah, um, I'm trying to think if I forgot anything, um, most bug changes will be fixed, um, you know, dev, our bug reports is going crazy, so those will get fixed soon, um, I thought I, why is there grass right there? Man, I totally forgot to unanchor, or anchor some stuff, but, um, yeah, uh, if you guys do like this update, let me know down below what you think about it. Um, it was long awaited. Uh, however, we did fix a lot of stuff. So, um, with that being said, um, make sure to buy my merch. It's uh, in the description down below, first link. Um, as well as the game link if you do wish to play this. Uh, but with that being said, if you guys like the video, please do like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time.